Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel where today I'm going to start a series called palettes that people forgot about and I'm going to create makeup looks every maybe once a week or maybe once in two weeks that depends how you guys like it but I'm going to create makeup look with palette that I purchased and loved but for some reason I forgot about it and for some reason people are not talking about it anymore on YouTube and I think these palettes these deserve more love deserve more attention deserve imagination to create beautiful makeup looks the first palette I'm going to use in this series is this makeup addiction cosmetics flaming love this is a palette that I bought a couple of months ago and I love this palette I love this palette. I have a full review with these colors and I hope I didn't recreate a makeup look. I don't really remember what kind of makeup look I created with that palette, but I'm going to put the link down below so you can check it out. I love this palette. I think also I swatched it in the video. If you want to see the swatches, I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I did create this makeup look uh, with this palette again, just to remind myself how much I love this palette. and. This series is going to be all about palettes that people loved but for some reason put away. Every day I can see on uh, Instagram a brand that is going to release a palette or a new palette. And that's wonderful. I love buying new palettes. But I think there are palettes uh, in our collections that we loved but forgot about. And they need more attention. They need to be sw more swatched, more touched more used, more abused, more in our hands and uh, this is what this, this series is about. Please give a thumbs up if you like if you like my idea for this series but I'm going to create a makeup look with palettes that people don't talk about anymore but need to. This palette needs attention. So if you want to see me creating this makeup look with this palette then keep on watching. So let's start with the look and I'm actually going to go into uh, this shade and it is a very dark but I'm going to go very light with my brush and try to build it up just tap it very soft to try to use it in the crease and it's working guys you see and we are going to blend it and build it up I'm building it in in my crease and then I take it and blend it out so we have a nice transition shade and also shade in the crease do you see how this look it looks like we used two shades but we actually used only one I love this palette just sad that I don't give it so much love that it deserves but that's why we have this series to do exactly that so please let me know if you uh, have a wish or a palette that I really you really want me to use that people just forgot about it then I'm going to take another blending brush and go into this other shade it looks more red and bring it here and a little bit in the crease And then I'm going to take another brush, come this uh, kind of brush, I don't know if you can see it, and then go into this dark shade, I take it here, just press it, and then blend it, press, press, press. blend then I'm going to go in with my finger and I'm going to take this pink shade all over my lid So I did wet the brush, it works much better than the finger actually. I don't know why I use my finger, maybe because I always use my, use my finger. 
but I then remember that this works better with the br wet brush. I'm going to clean this brush and go into this shade here, the light one, the first one. And bring it here. Oh, I forgot to wet the brush. So try that again. Wet the brush and go into that shade. Yeah, see what I'm talking about? That's beautiful. And then back to this brush and to that darkest just tab to blend those shades. Nice, and then we are going to go into low lash line. Use this number eight from BH Cosmetics and go into this first shade that we had in our crease. I look so funny when I'm applying the eyeshadow on the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go into this darkest and just blend it here. Not go all the way. Go back with the lightest. I mean, the brushes are flying everywhere right now. <laughs> go back into that light shade and Bring it just a little bit down here to open the eyes and a little bit up here. Mascara and I'll be right back. So I did do a thin, thin eyeliner and uh, went over with this um, color just to blend it. And I didn't wing it. And then I did went with some eyelashes if you see. So I'm going to go in with this uh, inliner curl 56 from Isadora and put that on the low lash line I can't see and then I'm going to take my mascara and voila this is the final look So guys, this is the final look. I really like this palette. Now this lash is bothering me a little bit. But okay, I really like this palette and I think it deserves more love than it actually got from me and maybe from other people. I think this is beautiful. You can take this out and put it in a Z palette if you just want to take one shade with you. But I really like this palette. It's very nice. It's very easy to use. It's very, very you can create so many makeup looks with this palette. And I am actually going to give it more love than I did. So, uh, please let me know, guys, if you want me to create a makeup look with a special palette that people forgot about. If you want, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. Bye!